Who is getting a check? How will this impact my taxes? When will I get my money? All questions about stimulus and today we're answering those questions about the newest round of stimulus, che stimulus checks that the American Rescue Plan has been signed. We're also going to be taking your questions about taxes. So we have a couple of experts here this evening to answer those questions. First, Mark Hensley is with the AARP. Scott Braddock is with Scott Braddock Financial and Kevin Robinson is with Robinson Tax and a Accounting services. All right, to get your questions answered, you need to text them to us. The number is 336 375 5775. Again, we want you to text those questions in. Don't call that number. We can't take your questions that way. And, but we will be able to get them if you text them to us. Of course, many people have questions about this newest round of stimulus checks. Uh, the American Rescue Plan signed into law yesterday, and now the Biden administration is saying people could see direct deposit as early as this weekend. Mark, what do we know so far? So it's it's all very good news. Um, AARP has advocated that a dependent of any age should also be included. And I'm happy to say that provision has been put into place. So if you're a dependent of any age, including age 17 years of age or older, including older adults that may be carried as a dependent by their younger children, they too are eligible for a $1,400 stimulus payment. That is good news. And of course, many people are wondering, do I need to go ahead and file my taxes in order to get that payment? What do we know about that? Well, Maddie, I think basically, obviously, the sooner they file the taxes, but you know, the, the better chance of them not being having identity theft, but um, go ahead and get your latest uh, tax return in the, in the uh, e-file system, um, you know, basically, but I know it's we're probably going to be based on the, the latest they have whether it's 2020 or 2019. So a lot of that, we understand those stimulus payments are starting to go out by this weekend. So the sooner the better, uh, but it's going to be based on the latest information the IRS has on hand. If that's 2019, then it's 2019. And Scott, the point of these stimulus payments is to boost the economy, to stimulate the economy. So what does the Biden administration hope to get from these $1,400 checks? And how do you think this will impact our economy here? Well, we really hope that folks are going to receive this much needed stimulus and they're going to go, be able to go out and buy the essential items that they need. And while they're out there spending this stimulus payment, they're going to be helping to stimulate the economy. Uh, and that's really the objective here is, you know, not to, to just help, of course, a lot of struggling families, but to, to help the economy as well, because in the end, that's going to help a lot of folks that have been without work and uh, you know, been uh, having to deal with cutbacks in their hours of work and, and really to help to uh, stimulate the economy, we're going to uh, not see any taxation of the stimulus. So this is a credit, it's a tax-free credit, uh, and it's really going to help all around. That is good news. Okay, we are already getting some great questions and um, people asking if I make more than $75,000, am I going to get this stimulus payment? So that is one change that this this provision um, has changed. Yes, the income level of adjusted gross income of $75,000 or less, you would be eligible for the $1,400 payment. And in the past, it has gone all the way up for an individual to get a smaller amount. It would drop by $5 for every $100 above that 75,000. That went up to 99,000 in this provision for an individual, it only goes up to 80,000. If you make an, uh, more than 80,000, then that is the cap and you would not receive any stimulus. Gotcha, so it's somewhat of a graduated scale there. But much smaller than in the last two. This is our third stimulus. The last two had a much wider range for you to get a, a smaller amount um, but they did cap that for an individual at 80,000. I understand, thank you. Will stimulus payments mean that tax refunds are going to be delayed this year? Uh, no, Maddie, I am not aware of any uh, stimulus payments making tax refunds delayed or anything like that. So uh, it should not have any impact. Basically, people may just wanna be sure when they file 2020 taxes that they are reconciling this credit that the stimulus payment basically is on their 2020 return and if they didn't get the stimulus payments they should have gotten based on the credit that the return is showing then they need to make sure to record and reconcile the credit uh, recovery rebate credit line 30 the return against the stimulus payment so they may be eligible for a credit for the difference that maybe they didn't get 
Kevin, what do we know about the tax deadline this year? Last year it was pushed back. Is it still April 15th? Right now, to answer that in a short answer is yes, it's still April 15th. I know there is some discussion um, through the uh, to the IRS to maybe look at June 15th, but for all we know now, we'll have to just go with April 15th. Absolutely. And uh, Mark, we started off with this, but many people are asking again, do adult dependents get this round of stimulus? This is really, really good news, Maddie. I'm glad it's being asked again. Yes, um, I've received an uh, email from several viewers this week already saying, is this true? And yes, an adult dependent, the tax filer would receive a $1,400 additional stimulus for them. It does not go to the dependent. It goes to the adult tax filer. Absolutely. Thanks for explaining that. All right, gentlemen, stick around. We are going to come back in just a moment to answer more of your questions. If you have one, text it to us, 336-379-5775. We'll be back.